everyone um, we have uh, we're gonna show you the RG260 machine uh, and how to laminate the frame onto the LCD for the S7 edge so first of all we have here we have a uh, S7 edge um, it's already got a spot on it and a line okay uh, we're just using this to practice on uh, so we just show you that it works Okay, now let's begin. So first of all, very important. Okay, for this, uh, for this, to, for these two parts to stick together, we need to use original parts. Um, the frame needs to be original. So you can see that the frame is original by looking at these gold things over here. Uh, most of the original ones have this. Um, if it's a, uh, if it's like an aftermarket one like these ones, they don't really have the gold um, plates on them. So, anyways. Uh, the sticker needs to be original, okay, um, and the back sticker uh, and the glass needs to be original as well. So this particular screen, we pulled off a another uh, screen from Samsung, so this is 100% original and it's not refurbished. Um, so when I put these stickers on, okay, what you need to do, um, after you laid all the stickers on, you get a get something that's flat and metallic, uh, that, that's flat, hard object and you just kind of run it through on top of this like this so that it sticks down really well. If you just put your finger on like this, it's not strong enough, okay? You need something that's hard and you need to really force that sticker to stick down onto the frame, okay? Same with uh, the edges here as well. You need to run your, uh, run your object through here. You can use a flat knife or the back of the knife or something that's flat Okay, so once you've done all that, okay, uh, top, bottom, and sides, you can begin. Okay, so for this process, we don't actually need any glue involved. Okay, a lot of the people that use this uh, B7000 glue, okay, I don't recommend using this. Okay, um, they, they get really messy and it's really hard to uh, change anything if you need to pull it apart again. Um, so we stick to original uh, uh, frame stickers and we're going to use it with this machine. Okay, so right now this machine, uh, RG260, okay, is set at 120 degrees um, and the pressing time is set at 30 seconds. Okay, so right now we have a mold here, okay, that this mold is for the S7 Edge um, model. Uh, we heat it up to 120 degrees. Uh, once it's there, okay, you need to leave this mold there to heat up for approximately three minutes. Um, afterwards, I would put these two together I would put it onto the mold for about 30 seconds to one minute and then we push it in and we're gonna start uh, pressing it together for another 30 seconds so I'll show you what I'm gonna do So put the flex in first and then we would lay it down on the top make sure it's aligned with the the EP scores you are pulling the flex out because you don't want to make you want to make sure that the flex is not getting stuck okay once everything is aligned and looks good okay you lay down the bottom bit along with the button Okay, so you can see that there's, there is currently a gap there all along the, um, the frame and it's not, as it's not fully pressed down yet, okay? If you leave it like this, okay, it will come off. There is a big gap there, I don't know if you can see it. Come closer to the light. But you can see that there's a gap near the top and on the, on, on the other side as well. There's a gap down there, right there. Right. Okay, now we're going to press it and let's see the difference. Oh, 
Okay, because the flex is exposed, you want to keep this down. You don't want it to get crushed in the in the process. So make sure that these flexes are all tucked in nice and close towards the frame. And then we can begin. Okay, so lay this down onto the mold. Leave it there for about approximately 30 seconds. So let's wait for it to heat up. So if the frame doesn't heat up, okay, this, this process won't work. So you need to let the whole entire frame heat up first, okay, and then you gotta press it for another 30 seconds. This mold, it's not screwed down. It's currently just, uh, it's just laying there in the middle. It doesn't really matter which position it's in, as long as it's roughly in the middle, that's fine. Uh, I believe the bigger models, you can screw it down, but uh, these smaller ones, like, uh, you know, all these, uh, this one's a S8 here that we have, okay? Uh, you don't really need to screw it down. Alright, I think it's hot enough. Okay, now let's begin this process. So, pretty much just push that in. Okay, and then we press these two green buttons on the side. For safety reasons, they made two different uh, green buttons, so you got to press them at the same time. So, as it comes down, okay, um, it would press over for about 30 seconds. It is hot, that's why you gotta wear gloves. Um, so, let's look at the difference. I don't know if you, can, uh, if you guys can see this, but there's absolutely no gap whatsoever between the frame and the glass. Same with this as well. No gap whatsoever. Flat.